Hey everyone, my name is Patrick, and today on my channel, we're going to be starting a new series called Can My Sim Survive? <laughs> and it's definitely not as dramatic as it sounds. <laughs> So the idea of this pack is as new packs come out and in hindsight, we're going to review each pack based on whether or not it has the items that your sim needs to thrive and have a meaningful, fulfilling life or simulation. So for each video, we're going to use a specific set of criteria to determine as objectively as we can whether or not we're getting what we pay for with each of these packs. Today's video is specifically going to focus on the werewolf pack, uh, and if you are interested in this series, please feel free to hit subscribe, and if you like what you've seen so far, you can also hit like, just so you don't forget. And with that, let's check out the criteria that we're going to use in each one of these videos to determine whether or not our sims are going to have a good time with it. <laughs> So with that out of the way, that's the criteria that we're going to use for every one of the videos in these series. And throughout this video, we'll kind of talk about each one of them. And at the end, we'll check out a scorecard to see how well this pack, specifically today, the werewolf pack, stood up. I should also mention that for this series, I'm going to use as many items from the pack as I possibly can. And then anything that we don't have, I'll be filling in with only base game. So just keep that in mind. Anything you see here should only be from the werewolf pack today and then from base game when I don't have something else I can use. So I'm going to get started with a little introduction on who I am. I have not played The Sims for about six years. <laughs> I bought the game when it came out. I was super into it. I played for hundreds and hundreds of hours and then six years passed. I don't know. I've been watching content creators for a long time, I've been enjoying, you know, on the outside, and now I'm excited to get back into the game. So you may have noticed that behind me, we started with a build that had furniture in it already. I really needed to get used to build in buy mode again and figuring out how to even use the in-game camera. So I did some building off camera first because the intent of the series is more focused on the objects and swatches and things like that that come with the pack. So the furniture that we're seeing here is really just placeholder furniture so I could play or test the house and kind of get an idea of where things would go. Um, but otherwise, the rest of the video is going to be dedicated to me filling in as much of this house as I can with as many items from the werewolf pack as I can manage. So getting started, let's focus on build mode first. You could probably see here I'm kind of fiddling around with what came with this pack. So in this pack, we had three wallpapers. Technically though, I'm going to say two because there are two brick wallpapers that are very similar. One just has a, a specific like caution pattern on it, like yellow and black stripes. Uh, and then the other one that comes with this is like a kind of dilapidated siding, like maybe wood or, or almost like shingles it looks like for the outside of the house. So when I got started, I was having a really tough time finding swatches between the werewolf pack and base game that worked well together. In build, we got these really incredible new pillars. We have a wood variation that's like not symmetrical on any side, so that's really cool. And then we have these like industrial iron pillars that at the base of them, they have like this like corroded kind of like rusty texture. And so I wanted to make use of both of them. And you'll see that throughout the build, we actually have a lot of the iron pillars dispersed throughout. At the base of the pillar, that like corroded, rusty texture is really, really warm. And I was having such a hard time finding anything that matched that and would help me like kind of blend these pillars into the side of the build. So I was running into a lot of issues right off the bat here. And you can see like I continuously am going through different swatches and trying out uh, different things to help blend these two packs together. The werewolf pack did not come with any platform paints or roof trims or, or anything like that for that matter. In, in build, it's, it really is pretty limited to just uh, the wallpapers. The, there's one new flooring. There's a new roof, which is really cool. And I, I do try and make use of that. You can see here a little bit. Um, and then we got some great new railings, which you can see on, on the outside of the build, both in the front and the back of the build. I love those. Those are incredibly useful. Um, and then, yeah, some windows too. So weird, weird thing about the windows and doors. So there are a couple different assets that have bricks around them, window and door assets that have bricks around them. And when I was placing them, I noticed that the bricks around 
the windows and doors don't perfectly match the swatches of the brick wallpaper, which was like so strange. <laughs> I was trying to, I, I don't know, like I kept like kind of clicking through and I was, I, I was figuring like I was just using the wrong swatch, but nope, I wasn't. They just, they just don't match, which is a choice. Um, and okay, so here, so I did, I did have to spend some time off camera. You probably just saw like a big jump. I needed to really spend some time figuring out what this build was going to feel like, find colors that matched well with one another. Um, yeah, so here's where I landed between the werewolf pack and base game. One thing that's awesome about this pack is the debug items. There are so many really, really cool items. I wanted to make use of as many of them as I could outside which actually uh, is a good segue point into talking about what we're even looking at with this build. <laughs> the build, because, spoiler alert, there's not a ton of objects for the whole house in the werewolf pack. And because of that, and because of the limited build items, I needed to figure out something that I could do that would help blend base game and this werewolf pack together in a way that made sense. And so what I decided on for this build was we have a, imagine kind of, this was an abandoned building that somebody recently purchased and has just begun to renovate. So you'll see areas of the build that are more modern and kind of updated, and then other areas that are still like really falling apart. <laughs> so just an FYI, that's, that's kind of what we're working with here. Um, and at this point, you'll see me start to drop in werewolf pack items. So the exterior is pretty much in its finalized state. Hopefully it looks like it's under construction. We got some lumber in the backyard, a ship container on the side. And now we're going through um, and placing as many werewolf pack items as I can around the entire house. So as I was doing this, I realized that the pack really leans into one area of the house, which is the living space. This pack is definitely really light on most essentials. A lot of the items that I was able to include primarily you'll see are in the living space and a little bit in the dining space and the and the den and like a, an office area but for the most part it was really hard to kind of populate the rest of the house with anything so my first kind of attempt here is just going through all the items that exist and putting them in as many different areas of the house as I possibly can. Uh, one thing that's really cool is the two desks that we got I'm not sure if I placed both of them at this point, but you can see one of them here is uh, right, right next to the back porch. So we have a long desk that the top of it looks like it's made out of like a reclaimed door. And then, oh yeah, oh my gosh. And we have this new telescope. We have a small telescope in the game finally, which is so cool. Uh, I had to make sure to use that. I put it on the sun deck on the second floor. And yeah, so just placing items around. We did have some, we have some cool activity items now. I wanted to make sure to make use of some of that gym equipment. So we got like that beat up punching bag outside and some beautiful new bookcases. So we got two new bookcases with this pack. One of them uh, is the one that you just saw me place. And it's very streamlined and kind of thin and narrow, which I love. I feel like that can be useful in so many spaces. And then another one that's made using the pil the wooden pillars that are used on the front of this building, but they're wooden pillars that are kind of asymmetrical on all sides, really cool asset, and they ended up putting them on either side of a bookshelf. So I feel like you can make some pretty cool architectural like installations with that, using that bookshelf and a handful of pillars indoors, maybe for a future build, I'll try that out. Okay, so now we're getting into my first kind of like letdown with this pack. Um, here we are in the kitchen. So as I mentioned, I have not played this game in six years, and I was forced to use the base game industrial cabinets for the kitchen. These are like the OG industrial cabinets, and I feel like they were like everybody's favorite when they first when the game first came out. So it was kind of a bummer that to celebrate this new pack, I was like forced to use these objects that are are so well loved already, just to you know have a kitchen that matched the aesthetic and and the sort of overall industrial grungy feel of, of the werewolf pack. So that was a little bit of a bummer, but I do think it looks nice. In the kitchen, we're using the one new floor tile that we got, and that's in the bathroom as well, right next to it. And then we also got some like cracks and scratches and things like that to put on the floor. So it's kind of hard to see, but it does add a nice la little layer of detail. So I did use that in the kitchen and the bathroom as well. And I also, let me know what you think. So two controversial things here. The first one is the kitchen. I used a very modern upper cabinet with the industrial lower cabinet. I think it works because the, 
the wood tones are similar, but I don't know. Let me know what you think. And then for the bathroom, more controversial, we're doing a avocado green bathroom um, or like an olive green bathroom. <laughs> there are no there are no bathroom objects in this pack. I needed to figure out something that fit the color palette of the werewolf's pack but also felt unique and kind of just something that like fit the overall aesthetic. So I landed on this avocado bathroom. I really like it. I'm curious to know what y'all think. So yeah, leave, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think of this bathroom. And then, okay, we're getting into the living space now. So the living space, like I said, here is really where the pack shines. And I think that the final product here you'll see really helps showcase what this pack is all about so we're using almost exclusively items from the werewolf pack in the living room we have um, the beautiful carpets that i love so much the rugs that i love so much one base game item we have here is the fireplace and when i dropped that in and found the emerald swatch everything seemed to click for me that emerald color really paired well with the crimson and burnt orange and olive and like blue slate colors that are in the, the overall color palette of the werewolf pack. I feel like it, it helped tie everything together. And when I dropped in that fireplace, everything kind of clicked for me. But yeah, so the, the living room really is kind of, to me anyway, the showcase for the werewolf pack in general. And then even behind the fireplace, you can see like this big industrial shutter or door or window or something like that. I don't know. I'm pretty sure it was from Debug in this pack. If not, it's just a regular item, but a really cool way to add just an extra level of detail to a wall that was relatively flat. So yeah, it was pretty cool. And then in this space, we're also making use of the brick windows and the archway, which you can't see right now, but the archway that do not match the brick <laughs> wallpapers for some reason. Um, oh, and here's a, here's a, you can see very clearly here how the arch does not match the brick. And then we're in the dining room. So at this point in the video, we are probably not going to use any more werewolf pack items. At this point, I'm pretty sure that I've dropped in everything that I possibly could from the pack. And here we are transitioning over to the base game phase. So everything that's left in the house that isn't decorated already will be base game. Um, I was a little bummed by the table. So this space definitely needed a, a more grand entrance. And the werewolf pack does come with a dining table. I did use it on the back porch, which you'll see in a little bit if you didn't catch it already. But unfortunately, it's only two tiles. And I just felt like I needed something a little bit bigger for the dining space. So I did have to go with base game there, which kind of, you know. Um, but yeah, so we're just adding in details. Oh, and then in the bathroom too, I didn't mention this was the other... You can probably see it real quick. This is the other window that came with the pack. I think the shape fits really well for the bathroom. It doesn't have any glass. I wish that there was a variation with glass, um, but I still made the decision to use it. It'll just have to be like a quote bathroom. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so now we're just going in and adding in tiny little details that make this all feel super lived in. I think, okay, so we just add in the canvases. I think one of the things that this pack does really, really well is artwork. All of the artwork that's included with this pack definitely helps sell the overall like retro, grimy, almost in some ways like urban feeling. I feel like um, I, I tried to use it in as many rooms as I could to kind of help extend the overall feeling of the werewolf pack throughout the house because there was so much base game that I had to use. But I feel like there's a lot of really cool artwork really beautifully designed posters, lots of uh, graffiti and things like that. There's also a really nice chalk paintings, which I'm pretty sure, you know, they're for children, but I feel like you can add those anywhere and they're very sweet. Um, so I added them in a couple places in this house. But yeah, I love the artwork in this game. I'm designing this house for my sim self, if you haven't noticed that yet. And <laughs> I usually make my sim self have the creativity trait. So big shocker, there's a lot of artwork and things like that around the house, lots of easels, paintings hanging up that are kind of unfinished. All right, now we'll check out a little bit of a tour of the house and see where we land it, talk about our final thoughts, all of that. So here is the living space. Like I said, this really sells the pack for me. Here we can see we're using the new roof, the incredible iron spandrels. Uh, we can see the brick archway and, and, and all the kind of textures that make this pack what it is and feel how it feels. So I love this. The roof looks so cool. The lighting effects that kind of peer in from that. 
Um, we have the floor cracks as well. I just, yeah, I love I love how this room came out. This to me screams werewolf pack. And then we kind of move through the dining space. We got that new cracked mirror over there, the ripped up painting. Here is our kitchen. Again, not much, not much werewolf pack here. We have a new window. We got our roof there, the, the really cool cracked floor tiles. All of that looks great. I did use a little uh a little like public restroom door here. I feel like that that helps sell the idea that this is an abandoned building that is being renovated. Here's our olive green bathroom. Please let me know what you think about this. The avocado green. I was tempted to do the toilet as well, but I, I figured I figured the shower was enough. <laughs> so here is our very cold avocado bathroom. And then here is our little study area, our, our little office. We got the new bookshelf there, the new desk, and then I also used the tarp, the hanging tarp as kind of like some curtains to just add a little bit of privacy to that space or block out some sunlight if you can't see your screen. And then when you get to the top of the stairs, you can see some canvases. Here's the second desk that came with the pack, the writing desk. I do love that. You can kind of just tuck it in a little corner. So that feels really nice. And then as we spin around, we can see those really cool iron pillars and the iron industrial spandrels as we enter the bedroom. This pack did come with a ceiling fan. I forgot to mention that. The ceiling fan is really cool and it, it definitely adds a lot to this space for me. Oh my gosh, and then these wardrobes. Um, so the suitcases there actually function as a wardrobe, which they look incredible, but also super functional. I love that because I wasn't sure where I was going to put a wardrobe in the bedroom. <laughs> so I love that. Out here we have one of the chairs that came with the pack. I did opt to use a double bed. Uh, this pack only came with a single bed, which was pretty strange. So I, I didn't want to use a single bed or a toddler bed, even though it's just my sim self here. So I did put in a double bed. And then as we go out to the sun deck, we can see some activity items, some nice lounge chairs, and then the small telescope that came with this pack. And then yeah, here's just a shot of the outside. So that's it, so that's the build. Let's, let's check out our scorecard and see where we landed. All right, so final thoughts, I think we can all agree that there is definitely a little bit of an imbalance here when it comes to how assets are dispersed throughout each of the different categories for the home, especially in things like platform paints and roof trims, or just even some like industrial details to use, like sculptures to use on the sides of buildings to make them feel even more broken down and ruined. You know, I, I think build was a little bit lacking for how stylistic this pack was because it makes it really difficult to integrate all of the really cool objects that we get with base game and um, the swatches and things like that that come with base game. So when it comes to whether or not the pack is functional, uh, <laughs> technically we have a bed, so that's great. Technically we have the party bush, so you could, you know, Take care of some business there and i think you can even sleep in it too so you know second option for sleeping um we are lacking in the kitchen department almost completely i do wish we got was spread a little bit more evenly across you know um, each area of the home but at the end of the day i don't think that that's what this pack is about i think that this pack is about adding a new occult to the game some really cool and interesting gameplay i think this pack is about the interaction to other packs like Vampires and Realm of Magic. Not so much build and buy heavy, but definitely brings in another aesthetic that is kind of lacking in the game for the most part. Even though I do think that this pack is a little bit tough to mix with base game, I feel like it would look great with Vampires, it would look great with Realm of Magic, obviously the industrial kit, I really would like to do a build using that. It probably would look awesome with Eco Lifestyle, maybe City Living. Yeah, I, you know, I feel like this will pair well with other packs in the game, but you know, in terms of this as a standalone option, it is probably not the strongest build and buy pack that The Sims 4 has to offer. So do with this information what you will. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I think that as a whole, this pack stands up pretty well, although it definitely did not meet our criteria today <laughs> for helping my sim survive. So mm, bummer. But if you liked this video, please again, feel free to subscribe uh, and please, please like the video if you liked it. 
this build is up on the gallery if you want to download it check it out see what it's all about do a little bit of renovation yourself maybe finish the renovation my username on origin is the same as it is here just patrick creates so yeah check it out and um you know thank you all for watching i can't wait to do more videos in this series and i hope to see you next time so until then